Hey everyone, my son here. Welcome back to our channel. So today we're going to bring you part two of our exclusive first look of Asus's new gaming motherboard, which is the Asus Tough Gaming Z Fold Plus Wi-Fi motherboard. So watch the video, find out what's so cool again about this new gaming motherboard. So yeah, welcome back to our channel. So this is part two of our exclusive first look. If you have not caught part one, I will put it in the top right corner. So in part one, we have covered the unboxing. Physical features of the boards like the VRM, the sockets, the PCIe lens, the RAM slots, and the ports. Check out the part one you have guys. So, so in this second part, we're going to cover more in depth features of this new motherboard. So, there's going to be something very cool about this new motherboard. So, don't miss it. Gordon, please stay away. One very interesting thing here is that this here says Thunderbolt 3 header, TB underscore header. Now, what makes this very impressive is that the previous Z390 Tough Gaming doesn't have the Thunderbolt 3 header. This was a feature that was only preserved for the higher tier ASUS boards, like maybe the Strix and the ROG boards. They probably had this header. Good thing. Now, at least you can go and buy the ASUS Thunderbolt 3 expansion card, put it into here. I mean, the amount of bandwidth is going to take this. It will probably have to sit here. And then you run the connector here. The one thing that strikes me though is that this connector here is very different in layout. Now, what do I mean by that? Maybe let me bring the board up to the camera. This is the Thunderbolt header. You see there's two rows of pin here. The current Thunderbolt 3 expansion card from ASUS that you can buy. The Thunderbolt 3 header is a single row of 5 pins. This is a dual row of, let me see here, 16 pin. Okay, 15. There's one pin missing here. And when I look through the manual itself, the expansion card that they are referring to is very different from the expansion card that you can currently find on the ASUS website itself. So which leads me to think that there is an upcoming Thunderbolt 3 expansion card that's meant to go with this fella. There, okay, let's see if I can hold it up to the light. Right, you can see it says out here to install Thunderbolt EX-3-TR card. Now, when I went to Google on uh, Azu's website just now, I couldn't find this card. That leads me to think that this particular card is an upcoming release. From the way it looks down here, the, the card's going to be very interesting. It's got uh, two times USB Type-C to Thunderbolt devices. The other two over here are actually mini DP ports. So what they do is they plug to the DP port, to the DP output on the GPU itself. And there are a couple of other things, the Thunderbolt header connector is here. It plugs also to the USB 2 header as well. Oh, okay, that makes things very interesting because, remember I mentioned just now, this motherboard only has a single full USB 2 header. So if you have the Thunderbolt 3 expansion card, that means this full header is already taken. So do keep that in mind. Now that I have mentioned quite a fair bit about the motherboard itself, let's go on to the I.O. behind. So let's tilt up the card. Okay, so first off, we have the PS2 port. So that's good if you, let's say, you still have a PS2 keyboard. Some people just love the PS2 keyboard. So that's fine. That's good for them. Then from here onwards, we have the blue ones denote USB 3.2 Gen 1. Generation thing of with USB is getting a little bit confusing, but do bear with me. The green one here is USB 3.2 Gen 2, same as the USB Type-C connector over here. So both of these are 3.2 Gen 2. Okay, this is getting very mouthful. Okay, for video output, we have a display port, we have a HDMI. These two aren't really particularly of that much importance because I think chances are if you're going to buy this motherboard itself, you're probably going to plug a discrete GPU, but it's always good to have them there in case you want to diagnose, let's say you have a non-F CPU. F denotes the CPUs without iGPU on board. We have a LAN port down here. Okay, this is nothing fancy. This is just Intel Gigabit LAN, which is still okay because uh, not many people really particularly have the infrastructure for, let's say, 2.5G, 5G, or 10G, that kind of thing. So, normal 1 gigabit LAN is fine. Next, we have the Intel AX201. Now, you may be wondering, what's the difference between the 201 and the AX200, the one that you've been seeing on a lot of AMD X570 motherboards? Well, it turns out the only difference is that the AX200 is a full Wi-Fi module. AX201 denote the CNV IO variation of it, which means that the module that sits inside this plastic case, it plugs into here, it only works on this particular motherboard itself. Because this thing, the CNVI interface, this is just a PCB. The MAC address or that is kept 
by the chipset that's sitting right over here. So that's a CNVIO for you. So things that I wish that they had probably done a little bit better on this board. Okay, I'll get to that. I understand that for this, they're trying to make it a mid-range board. One of the places where they had to kind of cut costs is only one of the M.2 slot gets a heat shield. The other one is late bare bone. It would have been nice if this one also had a heat shield, but maybe that would have added quite a fair bit of extra cost. I don't know. So maybe that's why they elected that only one of them actually does have the heat shield. The other thing that really, really, I don't know why, is that it still has this, the IO shield. Now you may be wondering, it's not that difficult to just put this in, but you know what? Could it be? It can't really be that hard for them to just take this thing and just fasten it permanently to the back down here. That will probably make the life of uh, system builders like me a lot easier, so we won't have to suffer the oops, I forgot to put my IO shield syndrome, which is very annoying because then you have to take everything out again. One of the other things that has me scratching my head is this little thing that came with the motherboard itself. So it looks like a little L-shaped clip. From what I see from the instructions on it itself, what it's supposed to do is that you kind of like fasten it here, and then you attach a 40mm fan here. So you have a nice little fan blowing air either downwards or upwards from your VRM heatsink down here. Now. Based on my previous experience with small little tiny little fans like these tend to have two drawbacks. Number one, they're really noisy, especially high RPM, and number two, the amount of airflow they generate isn't really going to make that much of a difference anyway. So this little thing to mount a teeny little fan down here, I don't know what quite to make of it. If you ask me honestly, I wish they had just omitted this and taken the cost that went to fabricating this thing and found a way to stick this permanently here. That would have been a better design decision for this board. All in all, what do I think of the motherboard itself? It's pretty well designed, other than those minor quivers. And uh, we look forward to powering up this board in part 2, when we get our hands on a Comet Lake CPU to power this fella on. So with that in mind, I'll just uh, switch it over to Mel. Yeah. So right, our exclusive first look at Asus's new gaming motherboard is now complete. Yeah, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and let us know in the comment section below what you like about this new motherboard, do you like its features, do you like the look of this board, and let us know if you're going to use this board for your own system. So yes, this is just the first look of the physical aspects of this board. Power on this board and performance is still under NDA so we can't do any more that. So but we do definitely look for the power on this board if we can get our hands on a common Lake CPU and I9 don't know what K we're gonna get our hands on. So check back on that. If you don't want to miss that make sure to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the eye icon and clicking on the bell to know when we put new videos. From Gordon and I Raymond Tan out.